Nearsightedness is going up at an alarming rate across the country and the world. Between smartphones, tablets, and computers, many people blame too much screen time for kids for this. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says it is not that simple, doctor. It sure is, and it never is, actually. You know, myopia is more than a cosmetic problem of wearing glasses or contacts. It puts a person at risk for a number of eye problems, from cataracts and glaucoma to detached retinas. Vision professionals are concerned because the incidence of myopia is rapidly increasing. Mia and Aaron Artson are siblings who both started having problems with their vision at a pretty typical age. In second grade, in the middle of the year, I couldn't see the board. Aaron had the same problem in class and... In baseball, I also had trouble whenever like a pitch was coming. I, it was blurry and I couldn't see the ball. Normally, myopia progresses gradually and stabilizes in early adulthood, but Mia and Aaron were getting worse quickly. In Aaron's follow-up checkup, his eyes got worse, and Mia were even worse than Aaron's. The arts and kids have lots of company, both in the U.S. and across the world. In the United States, it's gone up to uh, about 45 percent of the population, and there are estimates that by 2050, half the world's population will be nearsighted. Not surprisingly, parents tend to blame all the time kids spend looking at electronics these days. Phones, tablets, TVs, and computers. Screen time may be a factor, partly for too much up-close focusing, but also because it's not outdoors. It could be the intensity of the light outside, which is much higher than it is indoors. It could also be the makeup of the light. There are several techniques that can slow the progression of myopia. Certain eye drops, as well as special contact lenses and glasses. The ones that Mia and Aaron use actually reshape the cornea at night. But more importantly... Well, the contact lenses and the progressive glasses, um, they project um, a different uh, image stimuli to the periphery of your eyesight. And that peripheral stimuli has been shown to slow down the myopia progression. There are also genetic reasons for myopia, of course. It does tend to run in families. But to help your kids get them to spend some time outdoors, they don't even have to play sports or be that active. Just reading a book outside in sunlight seems to help. And by the way, there is a clinic at the SUNY College of Optometry that specializes in figuring out what's going on with the kids and ways that you can slow down the myopia. Slow down, but can you reverse it by any chance? Uh, well, this orthokeratotomy, uh, keratology rather, that they're doing the contact lenses that reshape mm. seems to stop it. I'm not sure about reversing it, but they wear at night and then during the day they seem to be fine. Which is very helpful. Right. Yeah. Well, that's you know, it's it's better than having it keep progressing and getting worse. Yes. Dr. Max, thank you.